Alrighty, so in this video, I want to fix a bug with our inventory. So currently, if I buy some gold, or pick up some gold, and then let's say I spend it on two medkits. So now, I now have no more gold. When I go to pick up more gold, like that, no more gold is in my inventory. When I go to pick up, you know, medkits and the bread, they're in the inventory. So why is that not updating properly? Well, it is but at the same time, it's not. So if I look at this inventory item, whenever I go to use an item, for example, I call use item. So that gets fired, let me close that down, on the, uh, the character. That runs our code here. And that goes through, we, you know, use slash remove item and all that fun stuff. So we uh, reduce the item stack count if it has it and so on and so on. But we have an issue. So for example, we pick up another thing of gold. Here's our update or add an update to inventory widget. Let me show you. Run out a string for add item and we'll make it say add. Print out a string for update item and I'll make it say update. Now watch what happens when I do the same thing again. So I pick up the gold, obviously it says add. I buy the two things of the, what do you call it, med kits. Then I pick up more gold. As you can see, it says update. But when I pick up something else, it says add, like it's supposed to because it's adding the bread. I pick up that again, update, that update, that update. So it's updating when it's supposed to be adding it as a new item. So it's like we're a little bit off with our total stack count. So if you look at the inventory item, we go through, you know, use the item, blah, blah, blah. We go through use remove item. This is never really getting fired when our gold is getting used. Like that's pretty much it. So essentially what we need to do is kind of the, I don't know how to explain it, kind of the same deal. So for example, uh, when we remove our gold, I'm just going to go ahead and call use remove item and we'll do item dot item class. So we'll remove some gold. Let's just see what happens. Pick up some gold, buy it, buy it. And as you can see, I can't pick it up because we just removed one but I can buy some bread. So to compensate for that, I need to make the cost of the med kits to be 52. So that way I can get rid of it all. all right. So I pick up 100. One. No, that ain't right. 49, sorry, not 52. I got myself backwards. All right, so now I pick up 100 gold. Use one, use the other. That lagged out a bit. What happened there? Buy one. Buy the, okay, there it goes. So now that works all the fine. I pick up more gold. As you can see, I just picked it up. So it's because we got to essentially call that. So my guess is for move gold... Uh, I want to modify this function here where use remove item to take in a value. So for that value, I want that to be how much to remove. So let's go ahead and fix that up. Let's go to the header of use remove item. Let's do uh, int 32, or we'll make it a positive. So you int 8, or no, you went 16. So we have a wide range of amount like a big number other than 255 amount to remove and by default let's set this equal to one okay let's add that in like so pass an amount to remove where we subtract like this so we're going to do item stack count minus equals amount to remove and then if the item stack count is less than or equal to zero we remove the item from the actual inventory. So now we can go up to our gold, well, our remove gold right here. 
And if the class, you know, matches, we have gold, blah, blah, blah. Uh, actually, what I really want to do is just pass in this to the function. So we're going to do remove. Yeah, I already have the amount to remove. Duh. Remove. Crap, what was it? Can't remember what the bloody function was called. Uh, use remove item. That's right. Use remove item. We're going to do a gold static class and then pass in amount to remove. So honestly, I'd probably leave that as a uint, but nah, whatever. So instead of having the previous function, we are then going to use our use remove item function. However, we are also using the item in here like that, which I don't necessarily want. So just to be safe, I'm going to have a Boolean being passed in. So bool use item. And again, uh, that one I want to actually no, I want that to be something you have to pass in. Let's go ahead and add that in like so. Go back up to where we call it, use remove item. We pass in the item subclass. And I want to pass in true. Because in here, I want to use the item, so I want it to be removed. And then our gold, I don't want it to be removed. So inside of remove gold, we're going to pass in false, because we want to keep it. Okay, so we pass in the gold class. False, because we don't want to use the item. And then the amount we want to remove it from. So let's do a check. So if use item, we will use the item. Otherwise, we just remove it, or remove it, remove it from the stack. And then if the stack count is equal to less than or equal to zero, we remove it from the stack, or from our inventory entirely. So let's save this out, give it a recompile, and check it. Alrighty, let's give this another try. I'm just going to hit play, pick up some gold, buy some of it. Because remember, the, actually, I need to change out that cost again. Let's bring it back down to uh, 50. There we go. Pick up 100 gold. Buy one, buy two, it's gone. Pick up another stack of 100, and there's our gold again. So now I can buy more. All right, I don't have enough. I can pick up the stack of 200. I can buy the remaining amount like that until my gold is empty. And I can buy the remainder of these, or not buy, pick up. And I have giant stacks of health and food, which affects our values here appropriately. So we're at 150. Let's just as fast as I can click. Yep, everything's working. Now we just got to remove the print strings right here because they are no longer needed and we are good to go. So now let's just check on the client again, make sure, you know, everything's okay there. Pick up gold. Let's buy both so we have no more gold. We pick up more gold. It's there. We can buy more. Now we can buy the remainder of what we have. And we can use it as well. And we get the results over here. Alrighty. So we now have a functional inventory and shop system that we can purchase items from. And quite frankly, selling items for to a shop, for example, would be in the exact same manner. It's literally just the exact opposite thing that you're, thing that you're doing. So instead of transferring it from the shop to the character, instead you would do, again, the exact opposite. You would just add to the stack, assuming that item already exists, to that, uh, not what you call it, the... Uh, I can't think of the name, the array. Sorry, let me rephrase that. So like if you wanted to add items with this setup to a shopkeeper, so like you were selling an item to a shopkeeper, all you would have to do, or we have like buy item, we re, we call it transfer item. That's called transfer, I should rename that to transferred. But we go through and we remove the item from the stack or we remove it entirely if it doesn't exist anymore. Like the stack counts less than or equal to zero. That's going to trigger this on rep event. This on rep event is going to just update it. So if we wanted to do the exact opposite, all we would do is either 
If the item exists, we add it to the stack count. If it doesn't exist, well, then we add a new item. So, like, we're literally just going to be updating the uh, this items array here. We're either adding a new item or adding a new or adding onto the stack of an existing the stack count of an existing item in here. And then this on rep is going to fire and it's going to update for us. Like that's as simple as this setup is. There's very little you have to actually do because the base code is already there and categorized into functions. So that pretty much wraps up this series. Uh, in the next few videos, I got to model up a little something I'm thinking, just probably a vest. A uh, Discord member requested making it so when you use an item, like to make it a little bit different. So like instead of affecting your stats, make it so when you, like uh, let's say we have like body armor. So we'll add on just like a we click. Let me just go ahead and I guess show you as a better example. Let's say this is a plate carrier. I pick it up. Oh, look, I have a plate carrier. Let me equip it. I click it and it puts it on. Something as simple as that. So that's kind of the route that I want to take with that. So anyhow, uh, that's all that we're going to do in this series. Again, aside from that little extension, which I will probably be doing a, in the next few days as of this recording on the 4th of July, because go America. Minus our government, we, everything's freaking corrupt. Any, any, anyways, um, anyways, that's going to be it for this series. Again, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Discord or you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons, as well as you get early access to all of my videos, such as this entire series, which was early access for a few months. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord. That's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.